What could anyone possibly be doing with all of these different graphics cards? Well, if you haven't already guessed by the fact that uh, this uh, video title says something along the lines of Power Draw Test, um, then you probably need to go back to school. So uh, yeah, stick around for this pretty awesome video. <laughs> Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products, and also up-to-date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. So just a quick walk around the cards and the testing methodology. So we've got the Fury X versus the 980 Ti. Now these are very similar in performance, so I'm hoping that we'll see a bit of a, a similar power draw, although this one does have HBM versus GDDR5, so that's gonna be quite interesting. Next up, we have a 390X and a 970. Now these are relatively similar. Of course, there will be some amount of performance difference, but it is the very same ballpark. And then we have the actual power meter itself, which is 999 from Maplin, although I couldn't find it anywhere. These are the most difficult things to find in the world. Uh, but anyway, we have a 960 uh, uh, and a R9 280, just a couple, well, basically three generations of AMD and two and a half, I'd probably call this like a half generation card, but two and a half generations of NVIDIA. And we're going to see what the uh, power draw difference is, so I guess stick around for that. So a bit of testing methodology, I'm going to be using an i5-6600K on this RG um, Impact board uh, and I'm going to be using Cooler Master Neptune 120XL to be able to cool the CPU and 8 gigs of DDR4 memory. Now that's going to be the same on all uh, you know tests and all cards and I'm actually going to plug directly into the system and run all the tests on the uh, i5 to be able to get a power draw test. Uh, at idle as well as under load for the sake of it and then I'm going to uh, put in different cards and see what the difference is and that difference will be purely just the graphics cards so that should be it. I'm going to be using a future mark um, 3D mark vantage uh, 3D mark sorry um, to test it out first and then because uh, oh, that's a sort of standardized test and then I'm going to do a bit of gameplay performance um, in something like GTA or Far Cry so that I can then see just under regular gaming load what it's like and I'll film each card and then hopefully be able to put it up so uh, I guess that covers the methodology and this is the power meter I'm going to be using it will show you wattage when it's plugged in but it's very simple you just plug it into the wall and then plug in the device you're going to be measuring into that so uh, yeah that's about it so just to give you an idea of what the 6600k is with uh, no graphics cards in it at a sort of idle you're looking at about 45 watts now with a graphics card in it, you're looking at between uh, well between 80 and 50. The 390X is the 80 watts. The average is about 60, and the kind of the kind of outliers are, uh, as I said, the 390X, the 970 is about 70 watts, and the 280 is actually doing really well at uh, about 50 watts. So that's pretty cool too. Any uh, any jumps, by the way, are just because things are moving on the screen or popping up. Um, but uh, yeah, to take a look at Fire Strike, you're looking at a really kind of interesting spread. So the 970 and the 760 are pretty much the same wattage, even though you get kind of a couple, well, a single generation difference, but also a couple of tiers more performance from the 970. So that's really cool. The 980 Ti is the highest here with 390X, not that far behind. The Fury X being a really kind of middle ground, and the 280 just being awesome and being the lowest tier too. In Dirt uh, Rally, which is kind of the real world test he used, the uh, the 390X was the highest, with the 980 Ti not being that far behind. The Fury X being kind of quite considerably lower than the 980 Ti, which is pretty cool. And the 970, the 280, and the 760 all being pretty much the same, give or take. So that's also pretty cool. Now the average electricity cost in the UK is about 14 pence, give or take uh, a fraction of pennies. Uh, but uh, the way I kind of worked out the cost for it uh, to give you an idea of the difference is you took the 14.02 in this case pence and times it by a thousand. Now the thousand is what I think people average do across a year of gaming. That's not including watching movies or anything. This is purely just gaming load. So a um, thousand hours of gaming a year. Now remember that this is kilowatt hours. So if you want to times it, you times it by 0.24 if it's 240 watts, which is what the R9280 was. And then you divide that by 100 to get it into pounds and you're looking at an average cost of 33 pounds and 65 pence so that's kind of how i got the numbers and as you can see here from the results the 390x is uh, considerably higher than the rest but bear in mind that that's only a difference of about five pounds to the 980 ti and that's per year as well so you know you're not 
completely killing the planet every time you turn your 380X PC on. But, um, you know, if you are looking at something between a 380X and a 917, you just want to know the, you know, electricity cost, the idea is, uh, well, you're looking at about £15, so that's somewhat considerable considering you, you'll get fairly similar performance. So, yeah, I mean, here's my kind of main thoughts and, and all that sort of stuff on the test and a brief explanation of why it came about. So the results actually kind of surprised me here. Now, I was expecting that the uh, 760, which is obviously a lot lower uh, in power, you know, uh, output than the something like the 980 Ti, to be a ridiculous amount lower, but it turns out it isn't. Now, the 980 Ti itself obviously isn't the uh, the most power efficient car in the world, but you kind of don't expect it to be um, as it's, well, it's a killer gaming graphics card. Now, there's two kind of real winners here for me. Now, when I first reviewed the 970, um, I said it was probably the best price to performance card ever. And taking a look at the price to performance, including the electricity cost, this one still wins. So I guess I can tell the future or just know when a card is good. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean it really is a great sort of price to performance card, but the, the kind of the, the kind of the boss winner, the best, coolest, I guess, nicest winner is actually the Fury X, because despite the card being ridiculously high priced, um, in terms of just the fact that it is a large number. Um, the price to performance, in if you just look at electricity costs, is actually pretty low. I mean, it's not that much higher than the uh, 970, yet you get a lot more performance out of it. So that's pretty awesome, I think, at the very least. Um, now, bear in mind that all of these results are just what I've tested and how I tested it, and you've seen how I tested it. So do bear that in mind, um, and, you know, just kind of Take it with a little bit of pinch of salt, but um, yeah, I'm actually really surprised at kind of how the 970 versus the 760 went. Um, obviously, the 970 has a lot more power versus the 760, yet the wattage was pretty much the same, so that's really cool. And uh, yeah, I was actually really surprised at how well the 280 did, being such an old and generally underpowered card, so that's pretty cool too. Now, that's pretty much it, by the way, if you do want to check out that uh, Excel spreadsheet, there is links down below if you want to check it out and mess with it and, and whatever, but um, let me know what graphics card you are running and if you think it's all that power efficient in the comments down below. Also, if you want to see more truly original content, not just reviews all the time, um, leave a like down below. Also, let me know uh, in the comments if you, if you want that, or if you don't, feel free to leave a dislike, but let me know what you would rather instead in the comments down below too. Also, check out the Cooler Master project that I'm doing. Um, it's really awesome and I'll see more original content if you want to see that. Um, other than that, that's kind of it. Feel free to subscribe if you're interested in all this sort of stuff. And other than that, uh, subscribe, uh, uh, like and follow and all that sort of stuff on Twitter and Facebook as I post lots of funny pictures including all of the graphics cards that I had here uh, to which people were just really surprised that I had all of these graphics cards and one person even said that I ju just didn't have them. Um, I do. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, that's kind of it. So check out our t-shirts and all that sort of stuff as well and the links over there. Check out our other videos, which will probably be reviews. Um, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.